What's good? Welcome back to another week of One Man's Trash. This is where I document, mostly for my personal use, uh, my journey of reselling uh, part-time on the side. I buy abandoned stores lockers and resell the contents, mostly on eBay, uh, a lot of local stuff as well, and uh, the lessons learned as I go. I've been reselling for a very short time. I've been selling online for about 10 years now, um, so the shift to mostly resale is a pretty... A pretty recent uh, shift so I'm gonna do three things this week I'm gonna hit on uh, what sold so tonight's Sunday night so it's usually a, a big night for getting packages ready for Monday because you got Friday Saturday Sunday's worth of purchases um, cover that cover my first uh, local pickup eBay local pickup I've done lots of offer up in Facebook marketplace but um, local eBay buyers and then last, something crazy I did this um, week that will um, to be to, to be continued uh, at the end of the week to see how that turns out. Um, so uh, first off to cover what sold this week, um, let me pull it up here. So the two local pickups, one was a huge sale. So I have all this camera equipment. I just updated my spreadsheet um, from the two lockers I bought that day. I was in for about $400. I am clear in the profit by $900 now, and that's after taxes, fees, um, estimated taxes on what I'll be paying on the profits and everything. So uh, it's been 12 days since I bought it. So it's one of my quickest profits and I still have a lot of stuff that's gonna pay dividends down the road. So that one was a $500 um, sale and it was a, um, I showed it on a previous video, I don't have it anymore. It's a Nikon slide scanner, so old, film slides um, and it scans those so I put that up for an exorbitant amount when it's high-end stuff that's very particular I try to when especially when the the comps show that they sell pretty well and they don't stay on the market I usually just price it really high um, I don't know if it deters scammers or anything but that's my logic and then most serious bidders regardless of how exorbitant my price is will will usually send a legitimate offer so he sent a $500 offer, which is what I was shooting for anyways. Um, and then he was about 20 minutes away. So we, we linked up um, and did that. The other local pickup was a piece of Verizon equipment. That was like $30, $35. He was having a problem uh, buying it without committing to the purchase. So I told him to send me an offer for 34 saved a buck so I could eliminate the shipping charge. And then we met up uh, this morning. So both of those went flawless. Uh, if you've never done it, um, obviously make sure they pay before you meet up um once they do um <laughs> there's some more money um right here where you normally see um paid ship now you're gonna hit that and then you won't you don't see it here but one of those options will be create uh, a range pickup hit on that and then on your side as the seller you're gonna have to scan a qr code they hit generate code or view code and you either type in the number or scan their QR code. It's kind of like a chain of custody where you are acknowledging that you gave it to them. They're acknowledging that they received the product. Um, two for two today. I'm sure there's ways to, to screw that up. Uh, knock on wood, I managed to, to do it well. So on to the other thing. So I've got 12 and that sound meant number 13, uh, which I already pulled. So um, second biggest sale of the year is another product so this is a lens i think i showed this already but it hasn't gone out yet so this i put up for 450 someone sent i sent out an offer had a lot of attention to like 10 viewers and uh that one sold for 405 that 10 percent off uh 10 percent off offer usually works pretty well for more popular items all right next one is don't write off these. So I had this up for like $15 plus shipping. This is an expired um, cartridge. Make sure you write expired on it because you don't want to be hemmed up for misleading someone. Sent an offer, $12 plus shipping. That lasted maybe three days online. Um, I show these occasionally. So I bought a whole lot of sports cards before, right around early pandemic, before the pandemic. Um, before they cost an arm and a leg. So I opened these. These are 2015 Prism, uh, Christoph's Forsingus, and uh, I had bought a Hobby Box, I think, 
and um, of the cards worth sending sh to grade. These were two of them. So I had these listed for like $120. Someone sent me a, an offer of $85. Um, I've mentioned before, SGC. There just isn't as much demand, um, even though they have a really good reputation. I love the look of them. So I sent a whole bunch, kept a, kept a few, and then the rest I'm selling just to pay for the, the hobby. So two of them at 85 each. Lesson learned there, don't write off sending a message. So he bought one, uh, was very clearly a card collector. So I'd message him and say, hey, I've got a second one uh, if you want for the same price. And uh, he came back around and said, sure, why not? Um, next up, these are the kind of items from that uh, photography locker. So I had a whole bunch of just miscellaneous. This is a brand called X10. I think it's just an electronics company. So this is like a home security camera. It seems very outdated. Got $29 plus shipping for that. Um, this one, let me pull it up for you. $22.50. This is a outlet adapter for a smart home. So I think it only works with that same brand or a particular brand. Seems very outdated, but $22.50. Um, don't write it off. Seems like a regular level. This one's apparently high-end magnetic um, company called Greenlee. Um, oh, clever. USA Design, so that means made in China, probably. <laughs> um, so one end's magnetic. It's got four levels in it. Came from the photography locker, so I'm pretty sure it was used for photography, but um, a lot of the other stuff online had it for other professional use. But had it up for $35, I think sent an offer for 32 and someone countered with 25 and I'm so clear in the profit that that's to take the sale easy money um next two still clearing some record I mean I got the whole stack over here um had this up for 10 bucks I had, super, I had like four or five of these and they all were up around 10 12 bucks and they all sold pretty quick so that's good uh offer for seven dollars I took that today they pay for shipping uh, this was one of my two auctions tonight. Um, X, Los Angeles, um, 1980 slash records. Uh, I probably should listen to this before I pack it up just to figure out what the heck it is. So there's a lot of these that um, the comps sold around anywhere from like $20 to $80. Uh, I think one was over 100 I couldn't for the life of me figure it out. And this is where the records you either figure it out or you don't. Um, it seemed to match the expensive ones, so I had it for buy it now for a month or two at seventy five or eighty five dollars and just kept i got two two or three people had offered twenty or twenty five dollars um so that made me think I had a different one. One message asked me the color of the cardboard inside and asking me if it's brown, so I'm guessing the brown one is the expensive one so I put this for auction, I broke my personal rule I did not list it for ninety nine cents I don't know what I was thinking. I listed for twenty dollars auction. Um, it closed for 30 so I still got more than the low ball offer, so I was wrong, but not wrong at the same time, I guess. Um, so 30 plus shipping on that. That closed tonight. Um, obviously, I was hoping for closer to 50 or 100 but so be it. Um, karma came around in the 30 minutes between that and the, the second auction closing. I sold another camera piece, um, Nikon DR6. This is a uh, viewfinder, right angle. And this sold for $76.50. Again, this was, I sent an offer out and somebody accepted that 10% offer immediately. Almost last one is this box here. Let me grab it. So I'd been sitting on this for a month and a half. Uh, I knew there was value in it, but I just never listed it. So these were sitting on the shelf. So when I got them out of the locker, I was like, oh shit, this is great. Um, I got six phones new in box. So they're not new in box. Almost all, all of them are open. I can have that in backwards. And almost all of them have cracked screens. So not only are they used, most of them are busted. So history tells me cracked screens, scrap value. Um, and they're not even ideal. So even though there's like Galaxy in there, it's Galaxy Express. So they're, the, they're like the go phone model. Um, so I was expecting 40 bucks for that whole lot and I'm getting 54. So that's a win to me and second to last, um, I think I've shown these before. This was a gamble. So I love listing multi-quantity of things. So I had about, um, 50 or 
40 something of these. Um, these are electrical uh, electrode for stimulation unit. I uh, listed sets of two for $8 plus shipping just because I had so many. I don't want to sell them one by one. Um, most of the orders I put incentivized discounts as you buy more. So I think I sold a set of four, a set of three, a set of two, um, or two sets, three sets, four sets. So four, six, eight. Um, this is the first order of just the two. Um, so $8 right here, but so far it's proving worthwhile. I mean, they take up literally no space. So 40 of those stacked, um, for, I think it's couple hundred dollars when it's all done so that's that's easy money all day um, and last but not least on the sales uh, I've been sitting on this one for months and again takes up no space so these are Prada eyeglasses in a very dirty but still Prada case Prada case seems pretty legit it's heavy it's high quality glasses I wasn't sure about everything checked out when I looked online the numbers the make the detail so I put them up, I put a lot of um, detailed pictures and description, um, had it up for, there we go, already broke it. Um, thank God I have a case for it. Um, put it up for like 60 something dollars. I just haven't touched it. I probably should have slashed the price over the last month or two. Um, randomly popped up in my, send an offer to the buyer today. So I sent an offer for like, I swear I sent the offer for $50 and they counter with 49. Um, so I accepted 49 immediately. I mean, I don't, I probably would have taken any offer on these. Um, so these are going out, um, first thing, but $49, uh, to sit in a bin for a couple months. That's just the name of the game. So this weekend has really reiterated for me having like stay on top of things, keep listing things because the, there is a direct correlation between my hot weeks or my hot weekends and the several days preceding and how much I listed. It is not just, oh, there's random people buying. It's, oh, I listed 100 things the last seven days and I sold 20 um, leading up to that. So a um, couple books going out as well. Um, this is a set and then a single one. And I got to pull a few more. Um, last but not least, I said, what the hell did I say I was going to talk about? Do, 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 do. Fun thing that I'm doing this week. So spring cleaning, I have finally been on momentum of listing things, really pushing myself to clear the space, um, the beautiful problem and the beautiful advantage, I guess, of buying storage lockers. Um, I don't visualize my inventory item by item in terms of my cost. So when you're buying stuff at garage sales and stuff like that, and I do that occasion, I immediately attribute a, an incurred cost on each item. So if I, like, for example, I went to a thrift store, I bought a baseball glove. To me, that is a $3 cost. I will be really in sh like insistent on trying to make a profit on that. Once I clear a profit on a locker, I'm way more incentivized to just sell at ridiculously discounted prices. Obviously, if it's popular and has, has interest, I'm going to try and get top dollar, but um, especially the longer I'm holding on to it. So with that, any amount of inventory I'm just sitting on is just wasted space. And it's the same with, with um, any other way that you acquire inventory. If you're not listing it, it's not making money. Um, but a lot of items that I've kind of just keep shifting aside in different piles. And to me, I'm like, okay, it already passed my scrutiny. If I didn't donate it on the first pass, and I probably didn't donate it on the second pass. So I'm telling myself it's got value, but why am I not listing it? So all of those items that fit in that category... I went on a listing spree this week, um, created f a bunch of drafts, um, and set them all up for auction starting today on Sunday to end next Sunday. And every single one starts at 99 cents. Um, obviously the, the buyer is paying shipping on all of them. I'm not going wild and crazy and it's not a promotional thing cause there's nobody to pr promote to. Um, but we've got 45 auctions started tonight, all closing next Sunday. Um, I've had Pretty good luck with Saturday night auctions, but I wanted to stick with the tried and true Sunday night. So I do 8 p.m. Eastern time, which kind of bridges. I've gotten away with 8.30, so it took about a half hour to trigger them all to um, go live. So 45, I was planning on recording this right away. It's been three hours since posting them. Um, so I knew this is a huge gamble. So a lot of them, like the women's shoes, especially the sizes I'm selling, once somebody's paying 10 bucks to ship it, 
a dollar um, a 99 cent bid is likely as high as they're gonna go but I'm doing this as an experiment I want to learn I have hunches I have some experience um, but I don't have the experience of putting certain items in certain categories to auction so I really want to let the market dictate and kind of give me some some feedback so I've got a couple other categories of items I'm gonna do the same thing with next week but I'm really gonna use this as a lesson learned so maybe I get surprised one of the brands a woman shoes actually has five or six bids and sells for five ten bucks that's going to incentivize me to just stick with that model whenever I find those um, versus putting up for 20 bucks waiting six months it takes up space or it's just not working um, a lot of men's jeans um, some vintage clothes so I've got like a vintage Disney jacket that I could list for a hundred dollars and wait six months to get a sixty dollar offer on um, so some things that are very I, I know we're gonna go for a steal for the buyer which is great because good for them and good for me I'm, I'm trying to get rid of it and I get what I get um, some I know I will get good money for so there's 1980s Gucci loafers that I've been sitting on forever um, I know that Disney jacket will do decent and a couple others um, but at, at least half is my goal to sell um, I'm kind of expecting half of them to not even have a bid just because of the, the shipping cost is going to be prohibitive enough for someone to not even bid on originally. So out of 45, 22, 23 is my goal to sell. Um, already been out for a few hours and four or five already have bids on them. So, so far so good. Um, the most exciting thing for this is I know one or two of these is going to be a sleeper. One of those things that I was just like, I either can identify what this is and because I can't identify it, I'm hesitant to list it for a bite now. So I've been sitting on it forever. Um, so there's a couple vintage items like that. Um, but auction is the perfect thing for that. I don't have an emotional tie to it. I just need to put it up, let the market decide, do my best to describe it. Um, and one of those items, we'll, we'll review it next week. But um, within three minutes of it being posted, I already got one bid. And that same person messaged me within minutes. I haven't responded yet just because it's it's an auction and I'll respond tomorrow. Um, they they messaged immediately and they said, I know you don't have a buy it now option, but do you have a buy it now price in mind? I'm your highest bidder. I was like, it's at 99 cents right now with six six days, 23 hours left. Um, so I'll message them tomorrow. I'm just letting the market play out. The auction's going to continue. Um, but that's now got two bids on it. And both bidders have vintage in their username. So to me, I think I've got a decent vintage product based on that. Um, so other than that, we'll see. Um, hopefully it's a couple hundred dollars for the weekend. Worst case, it's a lot of valuable information. Um, anything that doesn't sell is very likely to just end up at the thrift store. Um, but I'm going to use that data, use that knowledge um, to continue that. And I have been hearing from others and I've kind of seen it myself with the auctions I'm doing. I've been surprised more often than not on the outcome of these auctions. And there's a lot of theories on why. Um, but if auctions are, um, this is like 10, 15 plus years ago, eBay style, where that was the core of eBay. Um, and it, with these sports cards, that's definitely a big piece of it too. Um, if those are performing or outperforming even, I can easily shift my business model that way to just get stuff listed for 99 cents. Obviously, there's going to be items like this camera stuff where I'm just listing by it now, but I've got... 100% flexibility to shift nearly all products to to auction style that makes it fun for me that gamifies it almost controls I can I can control when I'm shipping and all of that um, organization is way better because I'm garbage with organization lately so having stacks of boxes a1 through 45 and just knowing which ones to pull um, that's pretty good until I run out of space so this will be fun I will um, I'll do another one on Sunday to see how things go. Um, maybe I'll, I'll record it well while they're closing. So um, hopefully there's some useful inf info here. I rambled for way longer than I expected. Um, as always, this is me holding myself accountable. Um, I've gotten some value um, from, I didn't know there was a resale community on YouTube, watching others, watching the, the skill and the knowledge of of others I thought I had a lot of knowledge and definitely taken in lots more from from others um, but really to hold myself accountable if I don't record this once a week I slack on listing I slack on on following through so um, doing
doing this as an accountability measure for this um, side hustle is, is huge. So hopefully somebody else finds value. Um, if not, I don't care. It's for me. So <laughs> uh, I'll be back for, for another one next week when we do um, do the end of these 45 auctions. And hopefully I got some other stuff to ship before then. So appreciate you. Take it easy.